We were just coming over this little rise on Route 66 west of Amarillo, and I said, will you look over there? That looks for all the world like 10 Cadillacs nose down in a wheat field. So we uh, stopped the bus and came out here and found that it was 10 Cadillacs nose down in a wheat field. There they were in a perfect row, tail fins resplendent against a Texas sky of blue. At first, we thought somebody might be trying to raise little baby Cadillacs. Then we thought maybe the farmer just parked them this way each year after he bought a new model. Then we thought we better ask whose wheat field this was. That's how we met Stanley Marsh III. He's in oil, cattle, banking, real estate, and art. It's his wheat field, and they're his Cadillacs. Stanley Marsh III came out to meet us wearing a Mad Hatter hat with a Cadillac crest, and we knew we were in for it. When people say to you, uh, what are those uh, 10 Cadillacs doing out there in your wheat field, uh, what do you answer? Depends on who they are. When I get a chance, I lie to them. I tell them it's for an Elvis Presley movie, or it's for Evil Knievel to jump over, or maybe it's the caddy cult, and it's the new mother church for a home religion. I tell them whatever strikes my fancy. But if well, I'm, if I asked you, what would you tell me? Well, I'd have to tell you the truth. The truth is, it's a roadside spectacular sculpture made by a group called the Ant Farm, architects from San Francisco. From 48 to 64, that was the American dream, the Cadillac fins. They were the American dream because they were so badly made and so cheap that after two or three years, anyone could have one. It must give you a proud feeling of proprietorship to, to uh, own uh, the only 10 Cadillacs in the winter wheat field in America. Absolutely. It's like owning Stonehenge. It's the most important roadside attraction of our generation. I see somebody stopped over there by the road now. Just some tourists having a good time, taking a look. And asking some questions of themselves, no doubt. Yeah, usually. They'll come wandering over in a little while, probably. We'll tell them it's a windbreak. <laughs> Before it was all over, Stanley Marsh III had us over for supper and everything and explained eloquently his theory of art. It was wonderful. But we won't remember anything he said as long as we'll remember the sight of a cowboy herding steers out there where the tall tail fins grow and the traffic heads west on Route 66 and the Texas sun goes down on the chromium bumpers of the American dream.